This video is about how to sum values between two dates in Excel. We have a table of sales data with the dates in column A and sales and commissions in columns B and C. We also have a commission schedule and a summary analysis section. And as you can see, the total sales between May 14th and June 1st were just over 145,000. Great. Well, what if you want to know the sales for a different period? Let's say from May 20th to June 7th. Well, the sales for that period were just over 159,000. And as you can see, the formula automatically updated. Well, how exactly does this work? Well, the formula has two parts. The first part uses a summit formula that adds the total sales starting with the end date, in this case, June 7th. And the second part of the formula subtracts the total sales for any date that uh, is before the start date in this case anything that comes before May 20th so let's take a look at each part to see exactly how it works the first part of the formula adds the sales for all the dates beginning with the end date in this case June 7th it does this because we use less than or equal to because we wanted to include June 7th in the analysis whenever we use expressions like less than or equal to 15 or greater than 500 or less than C8, we have to put the expression in double quotes as you can see here. Oh, and one more thing to note. Whenever we use a cell reference as part of the expression, like greater than or equal to E15, or in this case, greater than or equal to F15, we have to concatenate or officially join together the expression and the cell reference with the ampersand symbol, as you can see here between the last quote and F15. The second part of the formula is pretty similar to the first, but since we want to specify the start date of the analysis and not just the first date in the, uh, in the table, uh, in this case May 13th, uh, we have to subtract the sales for the dates that come before the start date. So anything that comes before May 20th, we want to subtract from the first part of the formula. In other words, we want to subtract the sales for the dates that are less than but not equal to the start date. And that's it. If you're using Excel 2007 or greater, you can just use the sum ifs formula, but this way will still work for you. You know, combining formulas like this, even if it's two of the same formulas, can be very powerful, and it allows you to do some pretty amazing things in Excel. The total commissions formula uses the same logic, except that the sum range is the, uh, the commission range in column C. To take the analysis one step further, I added a note section. All it does is just spells out the time period for the analysis and also adds the day of the week for the start end dates, in this case Sunday and Thursday. You can go to ExcelOnDemand.com or click on the link below in the description to download the spreadsheet, make your own adjustments, or just to see how this note section works. I'll give you a hint. It uses the concatenate function that we just went over, also with a, a text function but you can download the spreadsheet and, uh, and play around with it yourself. You know, how do you add values between two dates in Excel? Let me know in the comments below. You know, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you know someone that could benefit from what you just learned, share this with them or just send them a link. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching.